Hey guys, here's a new blunder tip about UV unwrapping and getting straight UVs. I created this very simple cylindrical mesh with Blender 2.79 and I'm going to unwrap this model and the first thing that I have to do is to mark the seams. So I select this edge loop here and also the one here at the bottom and then I press mark seam that you find in the UVs panel. Okay, then I select the next edge to be marked as seam. I start here at the bottom hold the control key pressed and go upwards and select more parts. Okay, this is the part that I want to mark as seam. Here we go and then I open the UV image editor. I just opened this so that we can see the UV islands when we are unwrapping. Then I press A to select all and this is the UV layout that we get from a smart UV unwrapping. But we can do better than that, just press unwrap and this has taken the seams into account. Okay, this looks better, but I want this large UV island to have straight UVs. Why? Well, you will see in the next tutorial that straight UVs have an immense advantage when we are texturing. So using this kind of distorted UV island could really lead to bad results if you want to map a texture to it. So straighten this can be done with one shortcut and this is Alt and E. Bam, that's it, but it's not an included feature, it comes from an add-on that is called UV squares. Here you can see it in the user preferences. This is the add-on UV squares and you find it on this web page here. I added the link to the description below. It has more features than just straighten the UVs, but that's the feature that I use really often. And this is how you install the add-on. You just download the zip, go to user preferences and choose install add-on from file. Very simple, useful and free. Alright guys, that's what I wanted to show you. The next video will be about Substance Painter, a kind of introduction for beginners in which we are going to use this model. So thanks for watching this. If you like these short tips, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And think about being my patron, this would really help me to create more tutorials like this. I'll see you guys in the next one on JNM.